Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. Today we are going to uh, study about the proving ring type load cell. Now in my previous video I discussed about the column type load cell. So in this video we are going to study about the proving ring type load cell. Well the concept stays the same. So it's just another variation of the load cell, another configuration of the load cell which is used for measurement of force. So the proving ring type load cell as the name suggests, it consists of a circular ring of radial thickness T and mean radius R. Now the thickness of the ring is very small as compared to its radius. So this is the uh, general configuration of the proving ring type load, scale, uh, load cell. So it has a radial thickness of uh, small t, thickness t and radius uh, of uh, the ring is capital R. And along with that two pairs of strain gauges are placed, two along the inner side of the ring and two along the outer side of the ring. Along these points, these two points the force is which is to be measured or the weight which is to be measured is applied in this direction. Okay, So this is the general construction of the proving ring type load cell. Now let us see the working principle. So when a force is applied in uh, the direction which I have said here. Okay, at this point and this point at the top and the bottom in the direction which is specified, the proving ring, the circular which is circular in shape, okay, this proving ring is nearly circular in shape, it becomes elliptical, okay, it becomes elliptical because of the applied force. So when this happens, the strain gauge the two strain gauges which are connected on the outer side of the ring, they undergo compression and the two strain gauges which are connected on the inner side, they undergo expansion. These four strain gauges again undergo changes in their length and area of cross section because of the compressional and tensile strain which are which is induced in them. So if we want to convert these change in strain into a suitable voltage or current signal, we take help of a signal conditioning circuit which is a Wheatstone bridge. Again the four strain gauges are connected in the four arms of the Wheatstone bridge so that we get an output voltage which is amplified and is fed to a display unit for uh, for our comprehension. So this is the basic principle behind. The four strain gauges which are placed two on the outer side and two on the inner side, okay, the outer strain gauge undergoes compression, the inner strain gauge undergoes expansion. Now the interesting thing for uh, the mathematical expression for the strain which is induced in the four strain gauge is that whether the strain is tensile or compressional, the magnitude of both the strains are equal which is given by 1.08 into F into R by E into B into T square where F is the applied force in Newton, R is the mean radius of the ring capital R, capital E is the Young's modulus of elasticity, small b is the axial width of the ring which is not shown because it is the top view of the ring and small t is the thickness of the ring. Okay? So this is the expression for the magnitude of the tensile and compressional strain, they are equal in magnitude. Whereas in the column type load cell, both the compressional and tensile strain had different values of magnitude. Okay? So in case of the proving ring type load cell, the tensile and the compressional strain 
have equal magnitude so that's this is interesting okay you can note down the expression so again the proving ring type load cell comes in the form of a circular ring of mean radius capital r and radial thickness t the force which is to be measured is applied at the two ends top and bottom okay in the direction which is specified because of that because of the applied force the circular ring becomes elliptical okay there are four strain gauges which are placed two on the inner side and two on the outer side because of the applied force and the stretching of the proving ring the outer strain gauge undergoes compression the two outer strain gauges undergo compression while the two inner strain gauges they undergo expansion okay the outer strain gauges undergo compressional strain with the inner strain gauges undergo tensile strain this changes in strain causes a change in the resistance of the strain gauge which is converted into suitable voltage signal with the help of a wheatstone bridge where the four resistances signify the four strain gauges two strain gauges on the inner side and two on the outer side the output voltage which is taken is amplified and fed to a display unit now the mathematical expression for the tensile and compressional strain is given by this and they are equal in magnitude which is the interesting thing for the proving ring type load cell so this is all about the load cell we have discussed the column type load cell in the previous video and the proving ring type load cell in this video so please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical and engineering uh, and instrumentation engineering and uh, thank you have a great day